morning y'all welcome to the day in my life i want to make this as realistic as possible honestly all my days are, are different i got this request from you guys on instagram so i wanted to bring it to you guys so for context i am a new mama of a four and a half month old um i have not one not two but technically three jobs and um i have a business i also am in school i don't think i told you guys that on the channel but if you guys follow me on instagram you guys know um that i am uh, pursuing my doctorate in nursing practice and that's just a fraction of what's going on with me right now y'all so anyway um i literally just woke up this is what the hair looks like i went to sleep just um like this and what i'm gonna do is just brush my teeth hop in the shower and then when i get out the shower i'm gonna do my whole like um face routine just got out the um shower i am laying my edges down if you guys want to know how i do this after all this time on youtube i literally do it the same exact way the video that i have on it is very very old but the method is still the same so check out um the cards um if you'd like to see that i just cleansed my face in the shower with the cerave acne foaming cream cleanser and then i am going to be using the clinique dramatically uh different moisturizing lotion as you guys can see it is almost finished and then i'm going to be using this eye cream by clinique all about eyes rich all right i'm gonna put the cream on put the moisturizer on first and then the eye cream i think it keeps me looking like i get more sleep than i actually do y'all that's that y'all i'm gonna let that sit a little bit and then get in my clothes for the day i am like a satin silk type of girl i am gonna be wearing this satin dress um from h m actually it's wrinkled and then i'm gonna be using this knit duster actually as like my robe all right y'all so i'm out the bathroom i'm all um dressed so on. what the outfit looks like i'm not much of a like a sweatpants t-shirt type of girl even at home so um this is what i'm most and i promise you it's so comfortable y'all so comfortable i leave the links down below if i can find them at hm or if there's anything similar <laughs> So I'll show you guys my sandwich. This is what it looks like. It's not pretty today. I told you guys this was gonna be realistic. My breakfast sandwich typically has um, avocado, tomatoes, and red onions in here as well. But we're out of avocados. We do have red onions and tomatoes. I don't know, it's something about the av avocado that just does it for me. So I'm just gonna do the quick version. I'll put a picture up of what it typically looks like. Sometimes I put it on sliced bread. A lot of the times I put it on bagel i'm gonna have that with um some yogurt pick this up to try it because it has mango in it and it's just okay it has a really bad aftertaste to me and then i'm gonna have one mandarin and some coffee um with that typically i'm having this breakfast sandwich or i'm having oatmeal it's like what i'm doing right and if i have the breakfast sandwich for breakfast i typically have oatmeal for lunch and then vice versa sometimes i have breakfast out here by the way guys we just moved um like two weeks ago so we're still like unpacking and stuff um but sometimes i have breakfast out here but a lot of the times i have breakfast in the nursery so that's what i'm gonna do today i hear baby girl waking up and it's just quite early for her it's 6 30 right now once i come in here um it's like my me time i um say my prayers i start on my breakfast and then after that i um check my emails so i'm actively i told you guys i have three jobs um and the third one though just ended um two weeks ago so i am a professor and i currently work for three institutions um and so the semester ended um for one of them two weeks ago so i'm left i'm down to two right now and then in another two weeks i'll be down to one and i'm only gonna be working one over the summer so 
Um, I check those emails for those two jobs I'm actively working um, and just get caught up on those while I sip my coffee and finish my breakfast. If it's not light and sweet, I don't want it y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish my food. Baby girl is officially awake, but my husband's gonna take care of her until um, I finish in here. So I finished checking my emails. This is gonna be a real one y'all and baby girl typically doesn't wake up till about eight o'clock. So I would have had an extra hour and 20 minutes, but she is up. So we're gonna adjust the morning a little bit. Um, I do wanna get my makeup on sometime today because I am leaving the house, which is not always the case. Today is final exam day for uh, a group of my students so I am proctoring that so I'm going in to proctor exams maybe four hours total that I will uh, be gone and then I also do have another meeting for today um, but outside of that that's all work that's the only work related like need to do and what I do is I'll show you guys I have this book here that I got from Amazon which I really really like um, you know I typically was a really big planner girl if you've been following me for a while you know that but I found that you know I'm in a different phase in my life where um, it's just not practical for me right now so I like this because you have a running to-do list which really really helps me I'm gonna go ahead and start the one for today I have initial post due for NU 740 and I have to place an order on instacart didn't finish the coffee as you guys can see I did um, do a little something a little messy bun situation with my hair and um, I am going to feed my baby girl it is 7 14 so it's about two hours since her last feed I can't believe she's up so early she gave me no time to do what I need to do this morning but hopefully that means that she'll take a good um, nap we use this app called baby tracker and it really really is helpful so that's what it looks like you have a picture of your baby up on top you can put and so it's been two hours and 11 minutes since her last feed and I fed her on my right side I am exclusively breastfeeding so yeah I'm gonna go in the room and feed baby girl I'm not gonna bring you guys in there um, not right now anyway cuz hubby's in there I don't know if he's decent so, um, so baby girl is fed hubby has her so I am now back in the nursery which is also double as doubles as my office if I didn't say that before it's a pretty large room um, and she only naps in here I am finishing up an assignment for my school I think I have to sorry that is my co-worker texting me oh my gosh so it is 809 hubby starts work at 9 so I really want to relieve him so that he can get things done so typically this is like a really not typical morning but just to show you guys how things can sort of deviate from the norm typically she does wait till about this time to wake up so i would have gotten a lot done that way he could be sleeping and um but these things happen you have to be sort of flexible and that i have learned i'm a very regimented person but having a baby has definitely taught me to be a lot more flexible she should be actually because it's 809 now probably ready to go to sleep soon i didn't turn that in <laughs> once i turn it in i make sure it looks good again and it does so what i can do now go to my daily to do's and check one thing off all right so there is a new email but it's not pressing so we will go ahead and x out of that and go and get baby girl thank you i was able to turn in one assignment so teamwork makes the dream work y'all so i'm having a second cup of coffee i usually do have two right one of them is a um regular cup of coffee and then i have a decaf cup and just for the taste and while i continue to work so yeah baby girl is napping and while she's doing that i am going to continue to work on schoolwork. that's going to be like the main thing for me today um so she's already been sleeping for 15 minutes as you can see, 
with the Z's. But in the meantime too, I'm gonna go check my work email because we're really supposed to go, we're supposed to keep up with that, you know? By the way, you guys, I got this from Amazon. This is how I stay on top of my water. As a breastfeeding mom, you wanna make sure you're very, very hydrated. And I think this is good practice anyway. It's good for your skin, it's good for your body, it's good for your baby. Just drink water. <laughs> so this helps me keep on top of it. As you guys can see where I am right now, I drink quite a bit of water, y'all. I got this on Amazon. I'll leave, I'll leave the link down below if you guys are interested. It is 8.57 now and baby girl is awake. So according to the app, she's been sleeping 42 minutes. So I'm gonna wake her up in the app. How was your nap? Was you good? I'm gonna get you up? Yeah? Can I have this? Can I have this? <laughs> Can we change you? Can we change you? So we're gonna do now, just gonna get her washed up and ready for the day. I don't typically get her ready until after her morning nap. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go get some warm water and a washcloth and just wash her up a little bit, wash her face a little bit, right? And um, get her dressed. those brows y'all yes did you get your mama's brows yeah <laughs> you did she got my brows and my eyes as you guys can see like that see how that little curve at the end um everything else is her dad though so she um eats about every two and a half to three and a half hours um still at four months y'all she she just loves to eat. All right, y'all, so she has eaten her second meal of the day. And so now she is playing on her, I guess it's a type of play gym, the one with the piano. Uh, on it. In the meantime, I'm in the rocker that is in her bedroom. I love, love, love it. This is a newer addition. So I'm sipping on the rest of my coffee as she's playing. Um, typically, this is not the time that I get work done because I do like to engage her. And she, even though she's playing, she's still looking up at me for um, encouragement and stuff like that. So typically, I'm not on my laptop or um, on my phone really during this time. Just offering her a support and cheering her on. care of baby um, method which is the eat eat play sleep method <clears throat> so it's not religious but that's the framework that I like to work with so she's eaten she's played and then soon it'll be time to sleep my next priority is putting on some makeup which typically if I was gonna do would have been done already like I said the schedule is a little bit off today because she work she woke up about mm, to an hour and a half earlier than she usually does. So that'll be my next priority during her next nap. If she sleeps a little bit longer, then I'll work on some schoolwork. Also, another priority of mine is um, packing my bag. If you wanna see what bag I use, it's from Dagny Dover, and um, I absolutely love it. It's their Allen Tote. I did a unboxing and also what I keep in my work bag as well. So I will leave those up in the cards for you guys as well as down below. All right, y'all, it is 10.50 right now. 
and baby girl is down for nap number two. So this is what the look looks like. So Eliana's sleeping. Hopefully she sleeps for another 30 minutes. Um, when my husband goes on lunch at 12, my sister gets, he, go, goes for, he goes to lunch from 12 to one. And so my sister's gonna come at 12.30 so he can eat and then go back to work. And then she will stay here until I get back here at 3.30. I'm gonna throw on some perfume. This is the Maison Francis Kurt John Baccarat Rouge. This is that bag I was telling you guys about. Still use it for work. I'm gonna throw my laptop and my charger in there. One thing I forgot to mention is that um, I had to leave breast milk for my sister. And so this is five ounces. She drinks between four to five ounces now. It's crazy. This is from February 21st. So I usually work from the oldest milk to the newest. Um, Cause you know, these are only good for about six months in a regular freezer. Um, it's, you can leave it for more than that in a deep freezer. So, um, so let me go ahead and leave y'all. Baby girlfriend. What time does she eat? 2.15, so. She ate all of it? Yep. But what I need to do is I need to pump. 4.34 now. Um, I just put Eliana down for nap number three. I was supposed to have a meeting four minutes ago, but um, I text the person I was having a meeting with, let them know that I'm putting my daughter down, give me 10 more minutes. It's gonna be really informal. Um, it's just my, me and my co-teacher. Like I told you guys, going over the exam. Um, but she didn't respond, so I know she was just coming out of another meeting, so I don't know what's going on there. In the meantime, I did put dinner, um, or at least started dinner. It w so it would automatically yeah, put both sections. Put it in. Okay, so, so let's do this. So. so this is going to be my dinner. It's 5.35, so that meeting was about an hour long hubby has baby girl um he's not eating with me tonight because he had a late lunch um so he's gonna have baby girl so i can have dinner okay so it is what time is it babe um, well, it's 6 30 6 25 and so getting ready to give baby girl a bath so we have her um little bath situation there I like it because it has um, holes through it. You can just kind of sit her right in there. She loves this. She splashes, and then I have, and then I have this little cup right here that we use just to pour the water on her to rinse. Um, today I'm gonna be using the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Chamomile and Argan Oil, maybe wash and shampoo with Frank Assist and Myrrh. It's getting to be about her bedtime. She's had, we've been very religious about her bedtime from about week three. So what I wanna do, babe, is um, wash my makeup off, mm. and then um, we'll and start, then, we'll start the process. And then you're gonna get naked? You pretty girl, you. You pretty girl, you. You pretty girl, you. Baby girl is sleeping. I have added some more water to my water jug. Um, I do sleep with this right next to me um, because with breastfeeding, you just get thirsty, so I get thirsty at night. Um, so when I wake up, I typically chug a whole bunch. I'm popping some popcorn and then I'm just gonna kind of nibble on that as I get the rest of my assignments done. What time is it? 9.07. And um, headed to bed. Going to sleep, man. Good night, babe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Love you. Love you All right. Good morning loves it is um the next morning and we are back at it again it is 
a little bit after six now um and i am just relaxing on the couch since yesterday morning most of my morning me time was actually doing schoolwork. um i'm gonna take this morning to chill on the couch um i have my little coffee here <laughs> And I even have my breakfast sandwich. I was tempted to make oatmeal, but I made my breakfast sandwich. There's tons of avocado in it because I did get some. I don't know if y'all can see, can y'all see? And then I have on the side some, here, let me just show you guys. Vegetarian um, sausage from Morningstar. And then I also have my container of water. This is left over from last night. So I'm gonna finish that this morning and then fill it up again. So yeah, y'all, that is my day in the life or 24 hours with. Was when I was pregnant, I watched a lot of these types of videos, particularly with women with little ones, like babies. Um, and all of them were from stay-at-home moms, like very few of them were from working moms. I'm blessed to be able to work very, um, what do you say? Uh, very flexible type of job um, in that I don't like go into an office from nine to five. Um, so I'm able to, you know, do this and be home with my daughter, especially because of the season that we're in where um, most of my jobs are f somewhat virtual. So like today I don't have to go in at all. Tomorrow I have to go in for two hours. Um, so it's just it's just really it's just really a blessing but like I mentioned in my postpartum video it's challenging because I can't lecture and have baby at the same time so I do need help and so hopefully you know y'all know there has to be a lesson when it comes to me right and that is make sure that you have your time right your little luxury of the day um, make sure you feel good about you know yourself and um, get dressed do your hair throw on some makeup like honestly what i love about this style is that it looks done i didn't do anything to it you know how yesterday i laid the edges down didn't do anything to this hair y'all i didn't do anything to it i woke up like this literally um and it's cute and when i the way i dress at home is still cute and comfortable this set doesn't have to be expensive this white set this one i have on today um it is from shein right and um they are really hit and miss but I actually like the set from them so if i can find this in different colors i'll go back and get some um i really like white i really like wearing i really like white and i really like wearing white at home um so i have a lot of white home house dresses i like to wear dresses at home but sometimes i have pants sets like this that are like um, the satin material um yeah feel good at home stay organized Right? Keep your schedule organized. That is really big with me, especially if you're working with um, a partner. So my husband and I communicating is huge um, that we have a shared calendar and then we check in with each other at the beginning of the week um, and then reminders throughout the day what we have going on so that we can be there for each other and support each other so that we're able to care for our daughter at least for the first year without... Um, I don't I hate to say strangers but that's just the way that I feel um we're trying to we're trying to we're trying to make it happen you all so um accepting help my sister has been a really great help especially these last couple of weeks um when we've needed extra support as things have gotten busy for the both of us we love her and we appreciate her so 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 much and so utilize your resources whether it's grandma whether it's auntie whether it's um you know best friend whatever the help is um so that you know you get the support that you need yeah i have a lot going on i think the reason why people ask me to do this because they're like how is she doing this how but um it's doable because i have a supportive partner it's doable because i have a supportive family it's doable because i stay organized and it's doable because i take me time and i take care of myself as much as i can y'all i struggle with that sometimes um like yesterday morning sometimes you know it might not happen the way i intended but this morning we, we're right back at it you know that was it that was a day in the life um if you'd like to see another one of these like i said every day is different like maybe you guys would want to see a specific one for eliana like 
get into what I do for her, when I do it, and stuff like that. So kind of like 24 hours with a newborn. Um, you all let me know. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this video. Um, any questions, uh, video requests, comments, leave them below. I hope you guys are well and in good spirits whenever it is this video meets you. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. And as always, God bless. Thank you.